Hello everyone, just normal gamer here, and we're gonna talk about just Jake Paul in general. Now, I've actually never watched any of his vlogs because I personally find vlogs kind of boring, so I didn't watch them. And all my information is from what I've seen from Keemstar, Twitter, H3H3 Productions, and some other YouTubers who may or may not have talked about him. But, um,. So from what I'm understanding right now is Jake Paul is a 20 year old millennial that is uh, kind of let fame and popularity go to his head way too much. Now as someone who is actually roughly almost the same age as Jake Paul only a couple years younger, this kind of, this kind of behavior, you know, it's not, it's not cool at all. like. Jake's just being a complete asshole. Like, yeah, I'm, I know I'm just rehashing what other people think of him. And I understand this, but I guess I just have the same opinions. Like, he's an asshole. And he could also manipulate the minds of all of his younger, more, you know, his younger fans and such. That they're, they, they're going to, like, be like, oh, he's cool. That seems like a cool thing to do. And all of them are going to end up just like him. A complete twat. Now, uh... <laughs> From what I've seen with what he's done, is that he's lit his pool on fire once, like put a whole bunch of stuff that lit on fire, apparently it's bigger than his fucking house. Um, got on top of a news van, now that in itself is just okay, um, kinda weird there. And made fun of the poor reporter that was there just trying to do his job, like come on man, what would the reporter ever do to you? But, uh, and like recently, what is this, uh... <laughs> Jake Paul and uh, it was his assistant accusing banks, uh, Faze Banks, uh, of, um, of you know, kind of headlocking her when he was drunk or something and got a bruise on her neck. Well, see, I, 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 I have to defend Faze Banks in this situation because, um, first of all, I do not watch Faze. I personally and um. Personally, not into the whole facing of the Call of Duty thing, or the you know whole Call of Duty games. Well, I'm into the Call of Duty games, just you know not that side of community. Anyways, oh, before I continue on, if there's any Jake Paulers out there hating on me, give it, give it your all in the comments. I want you to hate on me as much as possible. I want to see it for myself. I want to see the hate. Come on, fuel me. Jake Paulers, you know, dab on them haters. Come on, dab, yeah, dab, just dab on me. Dab on the haters, you know? You know, be a complete faggot. Anyways, enough of that. <clears throat> so, from what I understand is that FaZe was at, uh, at a bar with one of, with his, with a friend who, uh, the name escapes me right now. And, uh, you know, a whole bunch of people came over to his table. He didn't know they were Team 10 members. And they kept, like, apparently they spent, like, thousands of dollars on drinks. To, which, to, from a person who doesn't have a lot of money, I mean, like, holy shit. Thousands of dollars on drinks. That kind of seems ridiculous to me, but... That, that's... Oh, okay. <laughs> um... And apparently what the assistant's saying is that... FaZe was making out of another girl. Uh... <laughs> And like got you know like Jen try try to like make out with her or something. It's just like it's a big clusterfuck of lies. From what I've seen, from the evidence I've seen from Jake Paul's side and Faze Banks side, there everything's against Paul. Everything's against Jake Paul. Like from what it looks like, right? Jake Paul made up this story just so he can get views and shit and make Faze Banks look bad. And that has backfired on him. As everyone who's probably watching this may know that, uh... That it seems like she... They faked the whole thing. And apparently in the latest... One of the latest vlogs or something. If if you look at uh, his assistant's neck, there, there is no marking there at all. Like, there's no bruising there at all. And <laughs> apparently... The bruise started to sparkle in the light. Uh, I've had bruises, they don't sparkle, and they don't cover up moles. I, I personally don't have moles, but uh, they, I know they don't 
you know, they don't cover up skin stuff like that, like moles or zits or something. So, uh, it, so when you look at her neck and it lays flog or something, whatever it was, it's sparkling and the, some of the moles are gone. Now ain't that just weird how the bruises get rid of the mole, huh? And it's sparkling in the light. That's a bit suspicious to me. Again, never really watched Jake Paul vlog. I do not. I'm never going to watch Jake Paul vlog, vlog probably. They seem pretty boring to me. But um, that's what you like. You like what you like. I will not judge. But personally, I can't really watch vlogs. And it, but uh, I will also not watch Phase Banks because I'm personally not in the whole Phase Clan thing or the Call of Duty community in that sort of way. I just play Call of Duty for fun, not really competitively. But, um, yeah, like, the situation is kind of looking kind of fucked for Jake, and it's just like, why? Why would you go out of your way to make someone else seem like an asshole like that, and completely lie about it, and now, now this shit's going to backfire on him, he's probably going to get fucking sued for this shit. Like, I don't really know much about laws and stuff, I'm not a law man, but pretty sure it's against the law. Or at least not against it, frowned upon, or whatever, of putting false accu accusations against someone, falsely re reporting them, or falsely, uh, you know, accusing, them. falsely accusing them of assault. That that can possibly lend you some time in prison. So Jake better have some good lawyers if Faze actually decides to sue him. And well, I don't feel any sympathy at all for Jake Paul. He lied. Him and his assistant most likely straight up lied. And if all this, if all of what I'm saying is fake, like sometime in the future it's actually turned out Phase Banks actually did do that, well then I apologize. But until then, I do not apologize. In fact, it's the truth. No, not the truth. It's not the truth. As of yet. It just seems highly, extremely likely that it is the truth that Phase Banks did not do that. And the assistant Jason lying. See, and that, and that's just another thing that, you know, Jake's man manipulating his younger audience for. He's like, you know, he's he knows the fact that everyone who watched him is like 1200. Unless you're like, unless you're Team Star. <laughs> or h 3 who have to watch him for like reactions and stuff. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean like, like, come on Jake. You can, you're a role model to millions and millions of younger audiences. Why not use that for something right? And not, and not just be a complete dick. Like, come on. Instead of dabbing on them haters, why don't you, you dab. How about you not fucking dab, first of all. Alright, that shit needs to die. Second of all, why don't you do something. You know, like, see, you know what I can envy Markiplier, Jacksep, and PewDiePie for? They do live streams and make money for charity. I like charity stuff like that because I've known someone personally who um had a had a had cancer and he died, and you know, and I like ever since then it's kind of I've opened up my mind. I'm like, I've like I've really grown to appreciate charities a lot more. Like I've always, I've always been to charities, but after that, you know, it's I I, I start to understand a little bit more. I, I'm I'm not the greatest speaker, so I'm probably just saying some complete nonsense. It makes no sense. Anyways, I'm getting off topic. So like, I don't see. I don't really like Jake Paul, but his brother Logan Paul. I mean, I never again. I've never watched a never watched a Paul brothers video at all. Well, from what I've seen. And heard. Seems like Logan Paul is like is more way more mature. Well, if not way more mature, at least more mature than his younger brother Jake. And I feel like he would be the better well, better role model because you don't see him lighting his pool on fire or or going on top of vans and then making fun of the reporter for his shoes that did look quite nice on him. I will admit that. <laughs> he does it. Those are probably some shoes he has to wear for work, understandable, it's whatever. And Jake says shitty on him, poor man. <laughs> Anyways, about, well like, 
I feel like Jake Paul's on some type of drugs. I'm not talking about marijuana. I think he is on some cocaine as fuck. Okay, that's some. That's kind of mean to me to say that with no evidence to back it up. But come on, he is fucking crazy. From like, from what I've seen, right? I've seen a thing of him forcibly pushing Tessa Brooks, one of uh, I guess his friends, associates, whatever. And I was just like, why? Over, like, from what I saw, they were playing, like, some sort of game. Harmless. And he just forcibly pushes her for losing? Like, that's a bit much, don't you think? It seems like he has, like, you know, more abusive thing. Oh, abuse! That's a big thing. <laughs> Apparently, he's abused a lot of his girlfriends. And a lot of just other people in general. Like, spitting in their face and shit. I, I don't have any visible proof for this. Never seen it. Never met Jake Paul in person. I have ne never seen videos of it. But if that's true, that is scum. That is a very scum thing to do. Also disgusting. And really harmful to their person like gets in the eye and shit. That's bad. Don't, do, don't spit in people's faces or in their food. That's disgusting. But, um... Yeah, like... The only thing I want to know from Jake Paul is why. He... He is a role model to so many children. And like, he could do something great with that. If I had an audience like that, I would love to do something like positive with that. You know, maybe do like live stream charities. You know, try to be like, more of an upper role model. To like, you know, help, you know, like try to help people more. You know, it's spread a positive message. And it seems Jake is, is more sending a hateful message in a way. Like, uh, I don't really know how to, I don't know how to explain, like, I mean, hateful, I mean, setting your pool on fire is one thing, and also harassing your neighbors is another thing, and being a dick, more being a dick, he's not being, he's not being, like, more, like, he's not trying to, like, be more hateful, he's just showing kids how to be a dick, and that looks cool to them, so now they're probably gonna reenact that stuff, and be like, oh, I saw it in a Jake Paul Vine, Vine video once. So it must be cool. No. Okay. You don't just you don't just do that kind of shit. I bet if that wasn't Jake Paul doing the shit that he's doing, and let's say it was just some like just another person who has like who's not that popular or something, they'd probably be in jail by now. But since Jake is a celebrity, it's okay. I mean, I'm not saying like I know it's not okay, and they don't think it's okay, but. He doesn't seem to get any disciplinary action for this, and it's kind of uh, uh, unnerving. I'm a bit unnerved by this. Anyway, my time is almost up here, and uh, that, that's just my thoughts on Jake Paul, really. I was going to make a video on his It's Everyday Bro song, but I'm a couple months late by that, and it would be kind of stupid by now. And I know I'm kind of late by this, but I just had to get my thoughts on things. I've had this on my mind for a while. And especially with this whole new Banks and Jake Paul situation, it's just like, damn. Some, if somehow Jake is seeing this, Jake, you are fucked. If the, if what you saying is completely false, not only are you fucked, but you also fucked your brother. Just saying. Hopefully, not physically. I'm just saying that metaphorically. You fucked your brother, Jake. Because you guys are connected. And if one goes down, he's probably going to go down. Because I, I think Jake is a bit more popular in Logan. I'm not saying by subscriber base. I mean just in popular in general. You know, like social media and stuff. And, you know, it's just like, he kind of fucked his brother too. I don't, I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys see in the comment section down below. Like I said, I've never seen the Jake Paul Vine before or video or whatever. Don't really know much about him, so all these are just my personal thoughts and opinions of what I've, you know, I've gathered throughout what this stuff I said, you know, social media, Twitter, whatever, fucking whatever. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I will check you all in another video.